Goodness. That was not me. That was not me. Have you ever sprayed a lot of air freshener in a room? Probably a bathroom. Does it just stay in that bathroom? No. Eventually you'll smell traces of it throughout the entire house or wherever you are. Also, if you go back there after several hours, you won't smell anything. Honestly, things like to return to their normal state. We call this homeostasis. The cells in your body play a huge role in maintaining that normal balanced state by controlling what goes in and out. This is called cell transport. And the cell or plasma membrane plays a huge role in doing that. It thinks it's very fancy and picky and choosy, but some things get by. We call this being selectively permeable. None of these can just go through however and whenever they want to. It depends on what's already inside or outside. This is called concentration. Have you ever been in a crowded elevator and just dying to get off? I'm sure you have. Well, just like when you were dying to get off, molecules prefer to move from high to low concentrations. And this movement from high to low concentrations is known as diffusion. Water can do this too. It's called osmosis. And it takes no energy to do this. But what does this all have to do with homeostasis? Let's see. Okay, that one wasn't me. I don't know who that was. Yeah, that was Hi, I'm Danielle. Hi, I'm Daniela. So here we have three gummy bears. Let's take the masses, and if you don't have a skill, we can just make some general observations. And we're gonna put one in salt water, the other one in distilled, and the last one in regular old tap water. And let's leave them overnight. 24 hours later. We are back. Oh. <laughs> and let's absorb. Right. I'd like for you to pause and answer our analysis questions before we move on. You know, like, seriously, pause. For real, pause. I'm telling you, like, pause right now. We are literally going to ask you what happened. Thanks, twins. They didn't pause it. But let's go over these solutions. What the heck is a solution? True. A solution is a combination of a solute, like sugar or salt, that's dissolved in a solvent, like water. The tonicity of solutions controls the flow of water in and out of our cells. A solution is hypotonic if it has a low amount of solute compared to the cell. Hypertonic if it has a higher amount of solute compared to the cell, like someone that has a lot of energy, very hyper. And a solution is isotonic if it has an equal amount of solutes on both sides. Gummy bears are made of a good amount of solutes dissolved into water, and we've summarized them here. 80% water, 20% solutes. Compared to the gummy bear, the distilled water would be a hypotonic solution because it has a lower amount of solutes than the gummy bear. It's pure water, shouldn't have that many solutes at all, or any. The salt water solution would be hypertonic because it has a higher amount of solutes than the bear. And the tap water would be considered isotonic because it has about an equal amount of solutes compared to the bear. And these ratios control where water is going to flow, but water always wants to go from high to low concentrations. So we use this to compare and see where the water would be moving. If the bear was placed into the distilled hypotonic solution, it would swell because there's a higher amount of water in the solution and a lower amount of water in the bear. When the bear is placed into the salt water solution, the bear would shrink because there's a higher amount of water in the bear compared to the salt water. And in an isotonic solution, the bear would stay the same. 
water will flow equally in and out, causing it to be in equilibrium. This controls and affects a lot of things about ourselves. This is why you can't drink salt water if you were lost at sea. It will cause your cells to shrink, and that's not good. You may have heard of a woman who died in a contest by drinking too much water. Because if your blood contains so much more water than your cells, water likes to move from high to low concentrations and it will move into your cells, causing them to swell and burst. And that's definitely not good. If this is causing your brain to burst a little bit, don't worry. Check out CRSI.org to get more practice and information. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hmm.